America, it's the Anonymous American again, here to give you my spiel on the LGBTQ2 society. First of all, let me know, I've been an actor, a musician, and a chef, and I have worked with many, many lesbians, gays, and transvestites. Matter of fact, I was part of the traveling Rocky Horror Show for two years, going around doing the play at different universities throughout the East Coast of America. So I've learned to accept them. I love them. I accepted them, but I never accepted their lifestyle. Some of them became friends, and most of them understood where I came from. I never treated them indifferent. They became close friends of mine even today. But the funny thing is, days of the past are not like today's gays and lesbians. I remember them, we'd go to drag shows so they could have fun and make fun of the queens. They called them flamers. Now you would not see the flamers out walking the streets back then. You wouldn't see them out doing things. And you especially wouldn't see them at our public libraries getting and recruiting more gays and lesbians. Since if you're a true gay or a true lesbian, you physically cannot have children. But because our society now lets them to adopt, Hmm, wonder what they're going to see. Wonder what they're going to prove or what they're going to feel. This makes me upset. Today, no matter how insignificant the percentage of the LGBTQ society are, we're told we must accept their lifestyle. Accept people. Love people. And I do. I accept all people and I love all people. Black, white, red, yellow, green. I hate using colors. I'm not white. And my friends ain't black. They're dark brown, mocha. I'm kind of a creamy peachy. I, I, I hate that. I've always hated it. I've never been one on that. You bleed red, I bleed red. If you're an American, I'm an American. We both have the same privileges. I've been poor. I've not been privileged. I've been in the military. I've been around. Pull your own self up. The problem that we have to is they think that we have to promote their lifestyle. We need to stop promoting and accepting that lifestyle. We can accept everybody. We should never be cruel or evil to anybody. But we can have choices. And the LGBTQ2, they are such a small percentage of the all-around society. Less than 3%, if I'm not mistaken. Yet we must have to accept them. Which is fine. We do not and should not have to accept and promote their lifestyle. That's the biggest difference I have. But, not the lifestyle. If it is so, but if this lifestyle is now accepted and now promoted, it's going to become nothing, passe. So, if we, as a society, continue to fold under pressure when we're faced with a loud crowd, where tomorrow's child, where are they going to rebel against? Every generation since the 60s has felt a reason to do something with society. We had in the 70s, everybody wanted green. We became green in the 90s. In the 80s, it was the me generation. I don't think we've gotten out of that yet. We have gotten so me, we are now the I love me generation. We are the narcissistic society of the world. We love each other and we want you to care about what we had to eat today. And I'm going to take a picture of it and show it to you. That's where we're at. So today's children are now told and asked not to accept their own bodies. Little boy, you're not a boy. Just because God gave you a penis, we don't want you right now to make that decision. Little girl, if you have a, you know what, you're not a little girl. We want you to wait to make that decision. Hmm. Wow. Wait. Wait or influenced by time. So what's the next society's oppressed group? Huh? Where are we going to go? Where's the line going to be? Is it going to be NAMBLA? 
We only want to share our love with little boys. We're not mean. Or will it be bestiality? We only want to share our love with gods and animals. We need a line in the sand, America. We need to stop being such a pussy. We need to stand up and say, you know what? I can love you, and I will. I'll love you and accept you as a person. But I will be damned if I love and accept your lifestyle to be promoted to our American youth. People, you need to wake up. We're going down the shitter. Quick. This is the Anonymous American. Love America. Stand for the flag. Kneel for God. Amen.